Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as the personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. Holy Father, angels, ancestors, speak through me. If I reach one person and one person alone, which I know I will, please and thank you. So I'm really getting the energy of something that you need to keep to yourself. There's gonna be something that is very amazing but you're going to have to keep this to yourself. Okay, cut the deck right using the Moonology um, Oracle deck on a new starting is coming. And on the other side, uh, the answers you need are coming. Okay, so both have something in common. You have something that is coming towards you, okay? And it's like going to be a new beginning. And there's something that like um, the answers that you've been like, something that you've been wondering for quite a while, like what's been really going on or like, I'm, and I'm hearing elevation. Something that's going to elevate you, Okay. It's time for you to go ahead and just breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. It's time for you to just really relax, right? Really take a deep breath in and just realize where you are and just live in the moment, okay? Don't be up in your head too much. Commitment is being tested. Okay. So, yeah, like, oftentimes, and I just said this, like, the other day, the day before yesterday, is in happy Thursday, y'all. So, it's like, soon as you are, like, right there at the edge of doing something completely different, there's a lot of demons and devils that can come into your way, that can come to distract you, that can come to make you lose your focus. We can't let that happen. No, Chiro, we cannot, okay? Um, conclusions are in, within reach. So, you know, like over and over, answers will be given very soon. What do you need to release? That's what, came, that's what I cut the deck on, but let's see what else comes out. So, right into the divine. So, there's something that you're definitely letting go of. You're like, okay. I'm just going to let go and let God. I have no control over anything anyway, right? I just have to control my way that I think. And then that controls a lot, right? It, it controls everything, the way that you think. So as you're controlling the way that you think and changing the way that you think and changing, changing the, the different um, things that are learned behaviors, it's definitely like a lot of goodness coming towards you. Loosen your grip, Okay. Loosen your grip. Um, so, you know, there's something that you've been doing that it was a coping mechanism, right? That you had to do to cope. Whether that's like with coping with having a little shot every once in a while. When I'm saying shot, I mean a drink. Having a little drink every once in a while. Uh, whatever you were doing, okay? Whatever you're doing to ease your mind, it's like it was a coping me mechanism. And you're not going to have to do that in your new life. You're not. Because it's going to be a lot less stress. You got the love, codependency and boundaries. Okay, so there may be a situation, a relationship that you were in before. It was very codependent. But now this new relationship that you're going towards, this new situation, this new life, is going to, anybody that you come in contact with, they're going to be interdependent relationships, right? Both of y'all are going to be able to be by yourself having your own life and then you come together and have your own stuff together as well, okay? So it's going to be like a strong connection here and it's going to be a different kind of love. We have we the haters, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Okay, so something new. Something new. It's like um, there's, there's a whole bunch of newness. A whole bunch of still on the floor. Let's see what flipped over. All paths lead home. So no matter what, in this new life, you're still going to continue to follow your intuition. And as you follow your intuition, it's nothing but just everything. Because you have forgiven yourself for things that you have done in the past, for things that you may have accepted in the past, and you're really doing the groundwork, okay? So congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like it's, it's like wonderful energy, right? And I'm saying thank you because a lot of times when you're doing the groundwork, you're not going to get thank you from anywhere else, but you're going to know that you're working on it for a reason. And there's not really... Um, you know, any any reason to let anybody else know what you're doing. You're just working on yourself. But I want to let you know, thank you, because that's very hard to do. It's very hard to go ahead and let go of things that have been learned and that we're so used to being in the pattern of doing. Surrender to sweetness. So I definitely feel like you are um, in the mind frame of just being very pleasurable, right? Of just, okay, going through the spiritual awakening. And there's so many different levels to spiritual awakening. So you could have a spiritual awakening and then have multiple spiritual awakenings. Because, as you know, it's always constantly learning. It's always constantly growing. And there's going to be new downloads that you receive and new. Um, it's always something new, okay? 
So I really feel like you have really honed in on everything and realized that anything that is not for you, you're thinking bigger than you ever had before. You know that ha that has to go. You know that it was never meant for you to just be settled. You know it was never meant for you just to be like, if you will, just you're not, you're you're very chosen. I don't know why I got in my my head one of them. Like you're not one of them. I don't. I'm that doesn't even make sense to me right now. Okay, but that may make sense to you. But you're not one of them. So it, it's definitely like in the energy. Um, very very early. Um communication with the divine, very early spiritual gifts, a sleepwalker type of energy, somebody that um, has always had this special connection, always had this um, like this whisper in their ear of the archangels that tells them, you know, to follow their intuition. Okay. And sometimes whenever you hear those whispers in your ear, it's like astonishing, completely and totally astonishing. And it's like, just always been a weird one, if you will, okay? So this is definitely for all my weird ones. Let's see what else we have. Spirit's telling me to use my combined deck. This is uh, the um, past life mixed with the romance angels. Okay, father. So you're being led. You see how, like, this is like a baby's hand and a grown person, masculine energy? You're definitely, and it does not even matter, masculine or feminine. It's just that you're being led to do something, right? And it may be like a boss move, okay? Angels. Your angels have been giving you signs and synchronicities, and you have really monk or none. You really have been... I'm staying grounded. You really have been working on yourself. You really, you practice what you preach, okay? You're, you're not one of those people that are false. You're a person that you really do what you say. You do. And I do see like newness just coming in towards you because you're doing exactly what you're led to do. And you've been through some hard, tough shit, wars and battles. This is somebody that has fought. And it's time for you like to not have to fight anymore. You're tired of fighting. I'm getting the energy of, I had to fight all my life. <laughs> like, you don't, you don't got time for that shit. None at all. You, you're, you're tired of fighting. The devil. You're tired of anything that's going to leave you stuck and stagnant. None of that's going to work, right? You're anybody that's dishonest. Anybody that's going to leave you in a sexual connotation. Anybody that's deceitful. Because you know who the fuck you are, period. Look. The motherfucking empress. You know you're the empress. You know that there's a lot of abundance. You're like, you're a matriarch. You're you're a creator, right? You're very grounded. You're very down to earth. And you don't have any time for anybody that's going to be like fake as hell. Right? Fake and phony. Somebody to say some something, do the next. We have winning. We have winning. And then somebody is like very much so in your shadow, hating on you because you winning. But guess what? It doesn't matter. It does not ma matter because this person stabbed you in the back this person was very deceitful and this person deserved to see you win they deserve exactly to see you win because you ain't do nothing but just keep on keeping on while this person was trying to shit on your name while this person like and like when i was saying like keep some shit at the beginning i started off saying keep something to yourself like yeah because there's somebody envious around you or in your energy or like that this spine on you that wants you to be stuck and stagnant but that's not gonna happen that's not going to happen with this devil energy here, but you're going to keep stuff to yourself. You don't, you don't um, have to announce anything or say anything. Don't do any of that shit. Keep like, only let people know what you want them to know, period. Four of Pentacles. So if it, like four of Pentacles, you're definitely understanding that you're going to have to be stingy with your energy. You're going to be stingy with your energy because, you know, some people don't want anything from you, but they'll be a succubus. Some people don't want anything from, from you, but to steal that energy, to steal um, whatever you're working towards. And I see you're getting good news. I see that you're a constant student and I see you're getting um, financial opportunities. And then we have the will of fortune. So you're progressing. You're, you're having a turning point and there's an opportunity for you to go ahead and change towards the better, right? Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. You're very down to earth. You're very motherly. You're vi very financially responsible. And that's paying off. That is paying off because you're following your intuition, because you're understanding that you have to keep some shit to yourself. And, you know, because you're keeping this to yourself, it's going to be nothing but abundance, right? 
the fingers, so you have your boundaries up. Rightfully so. It's time for you to have your boundaries up. Spirit's telling me to use the wisdom of Oracle. So let's go ahead and get some last advice. Treasure Island. Yeah. <laughs> Baby. It's nothing but greatness towards you, heading towards you. It's changes, it's greatness, it's you seeing people for who they truly are, you letting go of people that no longer serve you, and you just walking into the light, right? You're walking into the light, you're, you're understanding exactly where you're um, being led, and as you, even the things that you don't understand you're being led to, you're still following your intuition, right? You're moving away from any chaos and conflict, and you have a deep, deep knowing, a deep, deep knowing that you've always been very different, and you are very much so called, and it's because you're a powerful manifester, and it's because some hard things that you have gone through in the past that it's just going to be different. It's going to be a different life for you, and like I said, that fighting is over. Any of those disappointments are over. Like, you know how to move. It's not like nothing bad is ever going to happen again, no. It's like you just know how to move differently. You're like, okay, this is what's happening. This is how I'm going to deal with it. Okay, this is how I'm going to react to it, to be fair. So you definitely have some fairness, some truth, some justice coming towards you. <laughs> right next, truth be told. This truth is going to be able to let you release a lot. And you're going to be able to gain a lot of wisdom in this situation. And you're going to be led to exactly where you're supposed to be. All right now. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe for all of your manifestation needs as well as for personals. Head on over to my website, energyllc.com. The link will be in the description box below. As always, peace, love, and namaste.